Okay, so I'm gonna dedicate this video to all my um, fans and subscribers that are down in uh, under in Australia, New Zealand, and also in South America because these cars were very popular in those countries. Now, when I saw this car about an hour or two ago here in St. Lambert, Quebec, just south of Montreal, I actually thought this was a friend of mine's car because I had filmed one at this show, the same color, about the same years, but it's not the same one as I saw my friend later on who confirmed to me, actually. Because his car had the full hubcaps, and I don't know, there were other little things about it that were different, too. There's that Meteor. Oh, my God, I love this car. Canadian classic. 59. Now this is, now this is, you know what, I was just talking to some young people and uh, uh, one of them is subscribed to my channel, they, they're, they're all these guys, there were three of them, they were 17, and you know what, this is exactly the perfect entry level car for a young person who doesn't have much money to, to get into. They're good cars, they're well made, and you could buy a car like this in this condition for like, I don't know, three, four, five grand. Five grand is even exaggerating actually. And I think I just heard the owner saying that it had a 289 V8 in it, which is, which is a bonus, actually. Because the six cylinders were good motors, too, but they don't have enough pep, you know? But, you know, when it comes to collector cars, this is really as plain Jane as it gets. This body style was made between 66 and 68. And then for about a year or two, the Falcon took on the design of the Torino, oddly enough. It's got a, some kind of protected around the steering wheel. Not crazy about that. It's got automatic. Radio delete. No radio. Surely not many miles on that. Eh? Sorry, pardon, madame. <laughs> it's you, monsieur. Oh, it's monsieur qui est là, huh? Look at that original upholstery, original seats. Very original. Hey, look at this, a Cordoba. Oh, wow. Wow, that's almost looks like a T-type. Anyway, just a little video of a uh, underrated classic car that in its day, they sold, God, I don't know how many thousands of these around the world. They were just so popular. They were well-made. Um, like I said, North America, Australia, South America, even other countries like Africa, uh, Europe, Arab countries, they sold these everywhere. Even in Australia, they had these as police cars in certain, I think in Melbourne, Victoria, places like that. Yeah, we'll just finish here with another view. It's got a little bit of a cop car look though, eh, for a little car like that? Seriously. I wouldn't have put that chrome pipe on it, but anyway. There you go, guys. Look at that. Next to a Ford GT. Next to a Ford GT. And a Maserati. And a Marcos. 